Hello and welcome to Halo RV, everybody. My name is Josh the RV Nerd, and this is the one you've been waiting for right here the 5,800 pound Cougar 22 MLS. And if you hang with us through this video, I'm actually going to get an awesome opportunity to show you not only just the basic Solar Flex package, but also one of the more advanced packages later in this video. This floor plan came in like a Miley Cyrus wrecking ball last year. It, in like seven months, not even a full year instantly basically became the number one selling most popular cougar travel trailer and for good reason it's funny because when i first saw the floor plan picture of this one i was like mm, i don't know about that and the moment i stepped inside i went oh wow i get it now it's here's the thing you want to know the really weird trick about this it's a towable motorhome if you look at small little mini homes, they will very often have this kind of living room, kitchen, bathroom arrangement. Just where the bed is on this one, that's where the cab usually is in a Class C motorhome. It's a towable motorhome. They brought motorized concepts into the towable RV market, but because it's a Cougar, you get things like that uh, warranty for full-time RVing, which travel trailers almost never have. It's zero to 110 degree rated. And although I can't guarantee this function for you, we have multiple Halid RV clients who have gone through hard polar vortex winters in Michigan in their Cougar RVs, trailers and fifth wheels, both. It has one of the best hot cold climate packages I've ever seen. Not just tank heaters, so much more that we'll get into later here. There's two different ways you can build the furniture on this one. Today we're looking at a, a common booth dinette. There's also a really awesome freestanding table and chairs option, but I would love some feedback on this because since they first came out with their uh, version of this, they now have an even better booth dinette. And for a while I was like, I'm team freestanding table. And now I don't know, I'm really split and I, I kind of need some votes from you guys to let me know which way would you go with this one. And you know what Googled it? And I was like, hey Google, ask Jeeves. Tell me about the execution of this floor plan. And a uh, computer came back, uh, and, and I quote, it said, it's freaking beast mode, Batman. <laughs> Look at this. You have windows and light and visibility around the entire trailer. Plus you have windows off the back we haven't even seen yet. They all have blackout roller nightshades. We'll get a little peek at those in a minute. And you know, tell me another floor plan that's like this size uh, where you have the benefits of like a super slide with a sofa and a dinette while still maintaining like a non-Murphy bed, a fixed bed. Now admittedly, it's not a full-on private bedroom, but that's also one of the things that keeps it shorter and keeps the RV looking bigger. One of the first things I want to do here for you, though, is I'm going to put you right in the driver's seat. I'm going to park myself over here in the theater seat, and that is what you're enjoying right there. Now, we come down here, uh, the uh, a new dinette table on these. Cougar got rid of the old knee knocker posts, and they went to a, what's called a dream dinette system, which leaves that now nice and wide open, not to mention it's easier to put up and down for sleeping purposes. And then again, when you're sitting here, this is just your point of view in the driver's seat. You start looking around this thing, and there's just windows everywhere. I want to be fair. It's one of the little irksome things I have. It's if, if I could change one thing on this floor plan, I would go ahead and factory install the privacy shade in that entry door. I wouldn't make it an optional add-on that you could do. Well, not even factory optional, aftermarket optional. I would do it just straight from the factory level. But hey. That's just me. That's literally my biggest gripe about this thing. Now, as long as we're talking points of concern, let's go ahead and knock one other thing out. It is carpetless, which rocks. Cougars all use floor vented heating, but notice how they've tried to keep the vents in not like main traffic zones. Also, you can very easily just cover one of those up if you need to, like with a little, you know, throw rug or runner or something like that. Um, but Cougar does that because they also make big giant travel trailers and fifth wheels. And with their hot, cold climate package, they opt for the most effective heating system, which does mean floor ducting. But again, I think that there's some pretty, generally speaking, simple ways around that. Now, up front here, we've got a 70 by 80 king bed. And again, it's an open floor plan, but you've got like the double showtime curtains on this thing when they're split in the middle. I like that. I'm going to start calling that showtime. <laughs> Just such an awesome look down the front of this thing right here. Now, check this out. Uh, under that king bed right there, you've got yourself an easy lift now plywood instead of like chipboard OSB deck uh, and hanging closets on both sides of that thing. So you've got awesome storage there. And look at this. Our side stands 
Uh, handy little pockets down below. I prefer drawers, but pockets are better than wasting space. Both sides of the bed have household and USB plugs. But are you seeing those yellow stickers on these things? Anytime you see a yellow sticker on one of these outlets, that means that that is uh, prepped and run to uh, the inverter prep on the RV, which uh, all Cougars have standard. And then if you want to uh, get one of the more advanced solar packages, which we're going to see later in this video, Remember, any uh, stickered outlet you see in this video uh, will be powered by the inverter in the more advanced solar package we'll see later. Now, coming from the other direction, you see that big barreled vaulted ceiling, which gives that nice open sense of space. Again, in a smaller trailer, it doesn't feel small. That's the magic of this one. What you're not seeing, though, uh, is the details of the new Blade AC system that is on some of your more select premium Keystones like Cougars and Montanas. Uh, long story short, if I just boil it down simply, they figured out a way to reduce the noise of an already Coleman quieter air conditioner while getting improved CFMs, cubic foot per minute. So actually pushing more of that uh, air conditioned cold air down into the RV than ever before, even though it's still the same 15,000 BTU air they always did. Cougar does, again, big features uh, in, in a smaller rig, which is one of the things I think makes this special. Now you might notice, obviously that's a theater seat, but... Uh, what if you want to take a little midday snooze? That's when you say, Stop! Nap time! And another thing that I think actually works organically well on this RV is just the way, uh, it's called the driftwood decor, by the way. But uh, it's very farmhousey. But the kitchen stuff is white with some accents and distressing. Your entertainment is that nice, warm, welcoming brown. So it's like a tale of two cities. You don't have multiple different woodworks mashed on top of one another in the same RV uh, the entire time. Now that TV is also great for facing the theater seat, but what if you want to watch it from bed? Well, you see how that can actually pivot right around for some nice, easy viewing. There's a good look at that blackout night roller shade. And down here, that Dream Dinette folds down into an easy sleeper. Now, if you go with the freestanding table option here instead of the booth, one of the cool things is you can just get the chairs out of the way and throw an air mattress down on the floor. So even if it's not a dinette, frankly, I think without the dinette, it actually has a better guest sleeper capacity. But I love the way they handled the storage below these dinette benches. This one, right when you walk in the door, is a shoe garage. It's brilliant. You know what else that could maybe be? You could put a, a for if you have a small dog, you could put that in there. Maybe a little... Um, uh, litter box if you're a cat camper any any pet campers down there let me know leave me a little comment tell me all about your pet tell me its name tell me its favorite chew toy frankly just because i enjoy hearing about your pets I, it's a gift to me <laughs> let's start cracking open all the storage shall we this is one of the things i really love how they did this here your in command system is right next to the door but it's totally hidden away out of plain sight uh, if you have a, uh, a guest or if you have a, uh, a, a, a grandkid or something with, uh, curious fingers, it's out of the way where they're not going to see it. Now this can operate your slides, awnings, lights. You can check your, your tank capacities, your water pumps and all that stuff. My favorite part about it though, is being able to, to do the air conditioning or, or the, the furnace remotely off my phone, no matter where I'm at. So if I wake up at night and I'm just sweating, uh, like, right, like, like Richard Simmons to the oldies, well... I can just crank the air air up. I don't even got to roll out of bed. I can just crank it up, roll back over, and, you know, hit, hit hit the snooze button, basically. Now, over here, it's kind of a split kitchen, which is interesting. But this is where your pantry is located, which, considering it's not like it's really far from the kitchen, I don't think is really, like, weird or wonky or anything like that. Over here, though, big space for a wastebasket uh, below the stainless sink, which I think is uh, very cool. Now, the bottom right there, that is your converter panel, by the way, your, your fuses and all that kind of stuff. Sealed edge, thermal foil, countertops all the way through. And there's something about windows all around a kitchen sink like that. It really takes me back to visiting my grandmother as a child. There's just something about it. It just speaks to me. Now, I love the storage overhead above the sink here. I love that overhead accent light. I want to offer one personal critique. That white little piece of trim above it. I don't really like the, the black screw heads just staring me in the face. It's a tiny thing. I could certainly, after I took it home, I could dress it up a little bit myself. It, just maybe like a little screw cap or something on there just to church it up a little bit. But... 
again, I'm having to be pretty picky here. Another one of those inverted outlets. Perfect little coffee maker corner. And speaking of making stuff, how about a larger 22-inch oven that you can actually cook in next to drawerage galorage over here? Plywood drawers down to the floor, and then a second one just so you can uh, double up. Uh, uh. Standard in this is going to be an 8 cubic foot gas electric refrigerator freezer. What we are looking at here is the... Uh, uh, it, it's a no-cost swap, by the way, to go into the larger 12-volt DC compressor fridge, which is also travel-safe, by the way. Now, remember, that 12-volt fridge, it will pull a little bit more juice than a propane fridge on propane mode if you're boondocking. That is where the factory standard solar package can help extend that dry camp time. I'm not saying indefinite, but uh, you can expand this package very easily, up to 400 watts, by the way, and Again, later in the video, we're actually going to get to see the factory 400 watt package. I, well, I would say live and in person, but hey. First of all, I wanted you to get to see the full space over here uh, below the bathroom sink. Now, a, a couple folks previously uh, said, you know what? I don't like to crap where I eat. I don't like the toilet being so close to the kitchen. That's fine. I respect that. You do have a nice pocket privacy door here uh, to close off that porcelain stool. And obviously you have some good leg room there. Good counter space here. That's another stainless sink. Just very, very detailed in here. Like, not just a medicine cabinet, but like, you could roll up your towels on the left side. Make that like a little burrito style cabinet over there. Uh, well, burrito, towel, enchil enchilada, nacho burrito. I don't know what I'm getting at. Anyway, what I want to talk about instead is a very tall shower space. And Cougar's been doing this for like a year and a half. The clear shower doors to make the whole room look bigger. This is one of those like uh, nice rectangular larger showers, by the way, that's easy to step in. Suddenly, this year, the big trend is everyone's like, hmm, I want me some of them clear shower doors that Cougar's been doing for a couple years. People seem to like them. And one of the more surprising and I think really great qualities on this one is the fact that it is shockingly travel accessible. So starting back here in the bathroom where we just were, uh, if I, I start moving you around here, you notice with the slide closed, you can still get to that kitchen sink. You can get to most of the kitchen storage. There's one little cabinet that you kind of lose out on. But other than that, if you need to stop and grab a bite to eat, she's perfectly capable of functioning. And because this does have that slightly more shallow slide, which doesn't feel shallow when it's open because of all the windows, it means that sort of like a motor home you can just walk through this and actually what's funny is if you look at this that's exactly what this is this is a small like mini c motor home floor plan but where this has a front uh king walk around bed uh a, a little class c would have you know your your driver's cab and like a, a bunk over top of this is just a motorized floor plan that you pull around now over there in the distance, that is actually another Cougar 22 MLS that has the uh, the SolarFlex 400i package. That's tier two out of three potential tiers available on one of these. And in that little red box, that's what I use to keep the lights on on these things. I'm actually using that solar package to recharge my box because that's the kind of effect that it has. We'll get to that in just a minute. I don't want to like skip over stuff and miss anything because there's a lot to cover here. Uh, up front, 30 pound propane tanks. It's not like Cougar's the only one that's ever done it, but if you pay attention, more and more RV brands are doing uh, 20 pound tanks than 30s, even in a more premium class like this. Now up front here, uh, that, uh, that full stone guard, because this whole thing, by the way, sometimes people look at this and they go, why are they just using plain metal? They're not. It's like got like a, <laughs> a quilted Northern kind of pattern to it. You've got something that is very awesome, but with a silly name, the Giggy Box. The Giggy Box, which is literally what that's called. That's not one of my stupid nerdisms. First of all, think of it as a battery disconnect. Secondly, it gets rid of all those ugly looking relays off the front of your RV, and it completely stops parasitic load from eating your batteries. That is very, very cool, I think. Now, uh, that front clear or, uh, marker light right there, you might notice is uh, side camera prepped. We are rear and side camera ready. Slam latches, magnet holdbacks, partridge in a pear tree and a very nicely sized aluminum frame front pass-through compartment. We'll get to all that stuff over there when we get to the other side. Over here, I wanna look at the in-command real quick for a couple reasons. Uh, first of all, I love that motion light right there, but secondly, uh, by the way, are you noticing that lighting right there, how, how it's on? Did you notice how I had no battery on the tongue of this trailer? 
This, the, even the basic 200 uh, watt solar flex package can provide live power to at least the lighting. You're not gonna run slides and stuff like that off it, but you can flip the lights on without even needing a battery on the camper. It's very cool. But the in-command system right here, uh, one of the uh, two things I wanna point out here today is that every single wire in this is color coded. And it just means that they're doing a better job, better job wiring because it's easier and it's so much easier, faster to diagnose and get you back on the road. If there is something that you need, which I don't remember the last time we had a Cougar that needed wiring stuff. Also, there's a little switch dial over there. What that can do is if you want to, uh, if you don't want to, like you left your phone inside, you don't want to go inside to, to touch the touch pad uh, to, to open this power awning over here on the door side of the camper, you don't have to. You can still use that switch on the in command to select which motor you want. You could use the, uh, you can activate the slide out, the uh, front and rear power stabilizer jacks that are standard on this, the awning, all kinds of cool stuff. Now I mentioned stabilizer jacks. A lot of Cougars have standard auto leveling. So what's the deal? Why not this one? This floor plan is literally not long enough to accept and properly function uh, with a uh, automatic leveling system. There's three Cougar travel trailers for which that's true. Uh, the 22 MLS, the 22 RBS, and the 25 RDS, the three shortest Cougars. Once you get into the 26s and up, your auto leveling standard on these, which is really, really nice. We have, uh, we talked about the camera prep. So, uh, so if you're looking for an observation suite, you can do that or just a simple, I'm gonna park it backup camera. But we also have reverse travel lighting, uh, the white elements built into those taillights. And I know they ain't impressive during the day. If you ever saw those things ignited though, it looks like a welder's arc. And I'm not exaggerating. They hurt your eyes to look at. <laughs> People know you're backing up. Notice too, Cougar's giving us and instead of or, we have a full bumper and a 300 pound rated accessory hitch instead of a bumper or an accessory hitch. And we're still getting a roof ladder. Uh, that is something that several brands have very silently phased out of their production. And that's one of those things I wanna point out. Also, look at the AC shroud. You notice how it's white? That is literally due to your feedback based on uh, our, our Halo RV videos. Uh, I, I saw a lot of people commenting, I wish the AC shroud was white so it would be a little more effective. Even though Cougars had an amazing hot climate package, the Cougar manager went, you know what? Maybe the black looks good up there, but I wanna function first and I don't think the white looks bad. So they went to a white shroud so that the air conditioner isn't being organically baked from the top down before it even starts to cool your RV. Your feedback on these videos seriously helps shape these. This is a customer driven product. My videos are viewer driven. Tell me what I need to do and I'll do my best to adopt it. Now, we're gonna get up on the roof in a minute and we're actually going to see a couple different uh, Cougar solar packages that are available. Uh, over here, what we're looking at though is a simple water docking station with an outside shower uh, and black flush, but also that side ZAMP solar prep plug. So if you want to park in the shade, even if you have one of the more advanced solar packages, sometimes you just want to park where it's a little bit cooler, you know? Well, you can still use a portable panel to chase the sun and you can use the portable panels and the fixed roof panels together to really maximize your output. Now down in here, uh, a couple cool things. This is kind of a small space for the camera, so apologies. Upper left, you've got your buttons there for the uh, power stabilizer jack. So an unattended child at the campground can't mess with your stuff. The RV we're looking at today has the basic Solar Flex 200, which means it has a 15 amp charge controller. Bank that in the back of your head for just a minute. And notice up there where it says inverter prep. Again, kind of just bank that in the back of your head as uh, I, I want to kind of finish giving you the overall look here. And then we're going to kind of A, B, flip back and forth between a couple things. And although at a glance, it might not look at it. We've actually just jumped trailers. Uh, there's a reason I wanted to get you up here so you can see every little difference here. What we're looking at on this one, this is the SolarFlex 400i package. It's now 400 watts plus an inverter, and you're going to see like right here, it has the uh, the Seaflow uh, battery switch right there in addition to the Giggy box. Now, when we peel around this corner and get back in that pass-through compartment, suddenly you're going to see a lot more hardware very quickly, like up top. The 400i stands for 400 watts plus inverter. And frankly, when I heard about it, I expected just a simple 1000 watt inverter. If you're looking at that, that's a Xantrex 2000. It is capable of running uh, like six or seven outlets in the RV. It varies a little bit by floor plan. Also though, it does have uh, a second loop running to the air conditioner. So if you want to 
do some expansion and some upfit on this, you can, uh, where it says inverter prep over there, you can go ahead and set this up and wire it up. Uh, like if you had a soft start to an air conditioner to technically be able to run an AC unit, which is very cool. Now, when we go to Solar Flex 400 and the bigger packages, you see how we jump up to a 30 amp controller, which allows for far more expansion on one of these. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about up here, there's something about the way Cougar, maybe it's just the super exaggerated vaulted ceiling they have. It is one of the sturdiest underfoot roof systems to walk on. It feels like a laminated roof, even though it's not. Now, what we're looking at over here is the absolute base forced standard package, the minimum solar that you get on every single Keystone towable RV now, whether it's the tiniest trailer or the biggest fifth wheel. They all come with at least that 15 amp controller and a 200 watt panel. But here's something that's very cool about that. These Cougars are still inverter prepped. Uh, it has that 15 amp controller. We can add a second panel for you. And what's also very cool, something Keystone really, talk about doing business right. Like if you contact an authorized service center like Halet RV and you already have one of these and it only has a 200 watt uh, panel, we can call Keystone, get the Keystone approved parts. And as a Keystone dealer, we can do, uh, we can add that extra panel for you without ruining your warranty. That's just not how the RV industry usually works. And this is just the most basic package. So it starts over there with that 200 watt package. The next step up into the 400i, we get two of those 200 watt panels. So we have 400 watts of factory solar. That's awesome. That's a lot of solar. That should be enough to keep like a 12 volt refrigerator very, very happy. Although remember, an eight cubic foot gas electric fridge is still the standard here. So if you're looking for some serious boondocking potential, you can get it. Are you noticing though with the 400i package, you get a second roof plug for that 30 amp charge controller. So if you want to, you can add two more of those and easily bump this up to 800 watts. But here is the real mind blower uh, to me on the 400i package and why I think it's the best pound for pound solar package they offer if you're interested in expanding. Because technically speaking with that second plug, if you add a second 30 amp charge controller, and if you feel like swapping out of the, the, the dual 200 panels, you could theoretically go up to four 300 watt panels and put 1200 watts of solar on this thing. I don't know where you're gonna walk if you do that, but this camper is potentially insanely solar capable. And again, if you add something like a soft start to your air conditioner, you could theoretically have some AC running off the grid. I'm not telling you with that kind of solar, you're gonna be able to run an air conditioner and everything indefinitely all the time, but you could do some serious parking lot, uh, you know, camping before you get rejuicing and heading back out on the road. So if you spend some time in parks, some time out of parks, this is a package right here that can really allow you to float between different styles of camping. And most of the time people are either, I'm a boondocker or I'm a park camper. You could build one of these cougars to be both. Now, you can't tell me that's not a machine. I, I've tried to be fair, like I acknowledge, if you're looking for bedroom privacy, this isn't your camper. If you want something this size with bedroom privacy, I think a couple really good options might be like a 252 RBS Freedom Express or a 2516 Rockwood, which is almost the exact same size, but actually manages to squeeze a, a true queen bed in a slide in a 26 foot trailer, which I think is pretty impressive. All of these brands, every single trailer does different things very well. There's uh, other people that make floor plans like this and they do their things very well. Overall though, I'm a fan of that Cougar. They bring big fifth wheel feels into something truly, truly half ton towable. There are very few half tons that won't handle this one. And you get all those big, almost like full timer RV fifth wheel features and, and, and fixtures and something much, much smaller, lighter weight, easier to manage, and hey, less expensive, how about that? And let me know what you think about those different solar packages. Oh, any, anything you're willing to share, I'm willing to, to hear. If uh, you like the look of these, if we're sold out, because uh, I leave you a link in the video description where you can check pricing and availability. If we're sold out, give our team a call. We can let you know the next one coming in, uh, roughly what it might be running, or we can get you a, a personal build sheet put together and. Get one with, maybe you want the solar package. Maybe you want that Goodyear and TPS, uh, TPMS package. I always screw those letters up. Every time I write them, I write TPSM. So, it's just me. <laughs> I cannot wait to hear what you folks have to say about this one. Till then though, remember we don't do hidden dealer fees, we just do everything else. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo Camping, everyone.